The 14th Amendment was passed by Congress in 1866 and ratified by the states in 1868. The 14th Amendment changed a portion of Article 1, Section 2 of the Constitution. The 14th Amendment is very, very long. There are five sections to this amendment. Let's break each one down. Section 1 says, All persons born or naturalized in the United States are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. This section defines what a citizen is and says that states cannot deny life, liberty, or property without due process of law. The Due Process Clause, part of Section 1 of the Amendment, echoes the Fifth Amendment. The only difference is that the Fourteenth Amendment applies procedural due process at the state level, not just at the federal level. Due process typically means a notice and an opportunity to be heard in court with an impartial jury. The Equal Protection Clause, also part of Section 1, was originally put into place to prevent discrimination against African Americans post-Civil War. However, after the 14th Amendment was ratified, we saw the rise of the Jim Crow laws in the South, effectively continuing racial discrimination until 1954. Section 2 discusses how the House of Representatives is apportioned and originally established the voting age at 21. It was later lowered to 18 through the 26th Amendment. Section 3 prevents anyone who has engaged in rebellion or treason against the United States to be appointed to any federal or state office. Section 4 allows both the federal and state governments to refuse to pay any war debts accrued by the Confederate Army during the Civil War.